Hello, today I welcome you to my World Watches and in this video we are talking about Perlon straps. Let's see what it's all about. So I got a couple of Perlons from stratwild.com to review and in this video we're not only going to be talking about them but also we will compare them to a couple of Perlons that I got from Aliexpress for a couple of bucks each. If you follow me on Instagram you probably already saw that Quite often I'm sporting Perlon straps with either my Guanchin GG16034 or the Timex Expedition. In my opinion, they are one of the most comfortable types of straps out there. So yeah, let's take a look at them. So first let's take a look at the straps themselves. As you can see, they're basically thin strips of fabric braided together. This sort of design is especially good during summer as the whole watch strap has a lot of tiny holes where those tiny strips meet and those holes allow your skin to breathe better and they are completely waterproof you can freely go for a swim with them if needed as it is fabric it's extremely easy to wash if it gets dirty you can clean it with just a bowl of soapy water i've done it multiple times also what i really like about them is the comfortability feels way better on hands than natos for me just a softer material this sort of design is also very practical when it comes to wearing the strap it allows you to get the most comfortable fit. For example, on NATO's you have these holes for the pin of the buckle to go in. If it doesn't fit just right, there's nothing really you can do about it apart from making a hole by yourself and quite possibly damaging the strap. On Perlons, as I've said, there are a lot of tiny holes and that's where the pin goes, between the strips. That means that you can do tiny adjustments to make the strap fit just right. And also it's similar to the NATO in terms of protection. If one of the pins breaks, the other one will be held by the strap, protecting it from falling to the ground. Of course, they're not as strong as NATO's, but they share quite a similar purpose. The other thing that I really like is that they're thin, way thinner than NATO. Here's a comparison. NATO's are usually quite bulky as a strap and the whole watch then appears bulkier than it actually is when a purlon is so thin that you basically don't even notice the change. So when it comes to comfortability, design and overall wearing experience, I think they're one of the best straps you can go for. Now let's compare the two straps that I got from AliExpress to the ones that StrapWild provided. The yellow and the sand color ones are from AliExpress. I got them a while back and they cost me around three bucks each. So first thing you don't get from Aliexpress is a guarantee that you will be getting a quality product. For example, the yellow one has some quality issues. The end of the strap is not glued properly and so it kind of broke. It's not something you can fix with a bit of glue, but it's still a quality control issue. Another thing is that it smells a lot like fabric dye and you can even notice it when wearing it. The sand color one is all fine, no problems there. And the last thing that applies to both of them is that the band keeper is so big it's practically useless, it doesn't keep the strap in place at all. For $3 you can't really complain and they're decent. Now the strap wild parallons on the other hand come from Sweden. The material used is much higher quality, feels more softer and overall made better. Also what I saw is the braiding on the Aliexpress ones is thicker. I don't know if there are any benefits to that, but that's just something that I noticed. There is no bad smell whatsoever and the band keeper is a lot better. Keeps the strap in place how it should. The end of the strap is also glued properly, no defects there. The only thing that strap well should improve is the buckle quality. The pin of the buckle is very flimsy, the buckle itself is smaller than on the straps that come from Aliexpress, which I like, but they should definitely improve the pin. Overall, I think they're great straps, very well made and feel substantial when you're wearing them. I'm also very interested how they would look after I wash them, so I will make sure to post a picture to Instagram when I do, so be sure to follow me there. I think they're great alternatives to the NATO and I personally like them better. So if you want to try out Stratwell straps for yourself, I'll leave a link in the description down below. You can also use a code WC10 that will take off 10% off of your order. They offer a big selection of colors and they also ship worldwide for free, so that is neat. So yeah, I think they're well worth taking a look at and I'm personally enjoying them. 
And as always, if you have any sort of questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments down below. Also, if you like my video, please leave a like and also subscribe to the channel. And also hit that little bell so you'll get notified when I upload a new video. And now thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.